I'm going to talk about this pattern, this pattern with 12 diamonds and how I make this pattern. Uh, you've got four diamonds around the equator. You've got four diamonds on each pole for a total of 12. We'll call it the diamond dozen pattern. Or the dozen diamond, I don't know, my diamond dozen <laughs> pattern. And I actually start this off with the standard eight triangle layout. That's you get by drawing three lines around the sphere, one around the middle, one around this way, and one around this way. And uh, that gives you eight diamonds. That is a classic starting point for many patterns. This pattern, this uh, pattern, getting from here to here, starts by recognizing that each of these triangles has a center point and that it can be reached by inter intersecting the triangle in three ways, this way, this way, and this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in addition to the three lines that we drew, uh, we're going to go through these triangles and, and break them up. So I'll just start in a corner here. I'm realizing that these lines are going to go around the ball entire, entirely. Sorry for the movement. I don't have a proper camera set up, so I'm just making do with my, my phone and rubber bands. <laughs> Okay, so now I've gone through and done, I did a line around here, now I'll go around the ball, cut, and cut the triangle like this, cut these triangles. Gives me two lines that direction. Um, I'm going to go in this direction here. going through this triangle from tip to the midpoint of the line between here and here. Maybe I'll just take a little tack down right there. This is the an ex, exp, expanding on this pattern is is a going to reveal a number of different patterns. So I'll show more of those. Okay, now I'm going to go around the ball like this. I'm going to intersect here. And I'll 
I'll do a third set of lines. A third pair of lines. And this time I'll go through the triangle in this direction. Now I'm going, it's, it's this triangle here, but you see there's the midpoint identified by the two previously crossing lines. Intersecting there, intersecting there. And around like that. Many ways to slice up a sphere. Okay. Let's take a look. Now we've got the white, the white lines that gave us the first eight triangles. That was with three white lines around the, the, the ball. Then with uh, three different colors, I made crosses in only two, 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 only two directions around the ball. Um, one, two, one, two, and one, two of gold, yellow, and pink. But you can see lots of lovely possibilities of this pattern. Um, you could actually just fill in each individual triangle here and come up with a wonderful ball, uh, lots of wonderful shapes. But <clears throat> if you look now closely, here is your, your, diamond, your uh, diamond shape composed of four small triangles and you'll find this these four triangles here now when you tip it this way you've got a diamond here 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 and here you'll have to ignore the it looks like in this case the white and the yellow the white and the yellow to get these four diamonds. I hope that helps. There's a lot you can do with this layout, um, but one of the most popular things to do with that is to make 12 diamonds.